All right, guys, I got my cylinder back from Top Hydraulics, and we're going to put that in today. So they did replace the top, and I believe they replaced all the seals inside, so we'll check it. First thing we need to do is just extend it out a little bit because fitting it inside the top, uh, there's an extension part, so we need to extend that out. If you remember, we labeled a lot of our components and right here is the lead the top lead so we'll just take the tape off here so i found that we need to all the cables and hoses need to slide over and out of the way and we'll just install those now the hydraulic hoses had o-rings on them and i left the o-ring on this one but top hydraulics included a set of o-rings so I'm going to remove this one and we're going to replace it with new ones. So I got new O-rings here and I'll pull those out and we'll put those on the hydraulic tips, hose tips. Pretty small so try not to lose those. And we'll just slip those right over here. And push those all the way down. And I got one more hose here. Just like that. So the first thing we'll do is I want to install these leads. And these should just slip right back in place. So we'll just pop that one on there. And I'm going to go ahead and do everything on the bottom so that it's easy to uh, move around while it's still available. So we'll stick this bottom lead in. And that does just slip right back in place here. Let me take some coaxing to get in there. It's got a new a ring there. You heard it click. So when these also have retainer clips, if you remember these retainer clips held the hydraulic hoses in place so we'll just slip those right back in place there we go all right and the top lead here slips in place put that retaining clip in. It's a little more difficult to get this thing in than it is than it was to pull it out just because everything's bound together now. Alright so that slipped into place. There's everything put together. And this portion here goes down towards the bottom and it will slip in between these brackets. And we left this top pin in, so we'll take that out when we get to it. And this will slip around these top two brackets. And this is the retaining pin for the bottom. Set that there ready for us to grab it. Make sure all the hoses are out of the way at the bottom. Sometimes that that other pin that's in there may get in the way, so we may have to finagle it to get back in there. And then we'll take the repaint the, the pin. Slip that through. And you want to make sure that the groove of the retaining pin slips all the way through. And this is the retaining pin, or the, the uh, clip here. So, let's see if we can get this on. Sometimes you may have to give a little help. There we go. 
Nice. All right, so we'll take the top pin out here and extend that a little bit more. And here is the retaining pin for the top, or the retaining clip for the top pin. We'll slip that right over. All right, we got the cylinder in. Now we have to top off the hydraulic reservoir. And we'll look at where that goes and make sure it's topped off. And it's actually located underneath the top compartment when the top is down. 